Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and in today's video I'm going to answer the question Can you use soak away crates for a septic tank? Now, that's a very good question because there's a lot of misleading information on the internet. Now, what do we mean by soak away crates? Well, if you type in soak away crates into Google, then you'll get lots and lots of images just like these. And you go on some websites and they say, no, it's illegal to use soak away crates for a septic tank. If you know anyone who's using them, then call the police. And other websites basically say you can use soak away crates for a septic tank. So who's right? Who's wrong? What? is legal what is illegal what does the government allow what do UK building regs allow well that's why I've made this video and I'm going to show you right if you can use soak away crates for a septic tank okay so here we've got two columns we've got rainwater crates and septic tank crates now everything's based on the BS 6297 2007 and this is basically the guidelines and the laws from the UK government. OK, so everything is straight from the book. So if you want to check out anything I'm saying, then please, um, I encourage you to get this document and read through it. So let's start with rainwater crates. Can you use rainwater crates on a rainwater soak away? Yes, 100%. Can you use septic tank crates for or in a rain water soak away? Definitely not. You can't do that. You cannot put sewage effluent right into a rain water soak away. You can't do it. Can you put rain water right into a septic tank soak away with effluent. No, you can't, right? So, rainwater crates must only be used with a rainwater soak away. Septic tank soak away crates can only be used with um, a septic tank soak away, right? So, let me ask the question then, right? For emphasis, can you use septic tank soak away crates for a septic tank soak away? The answer is a big fat yes. Can you use rainwater crates on? or for a septic tank soak away. No, you can't. So I hope that's cleared up any confusion or misinformation that is on the internet, right? I'll say it one more time because this is a very popular question and lots of people ask me this all the time, right? And um, I can't blame them because when you type it in on the internet, no one seems to know what the truth is, right? But as I said to you, if you look in the BS, 6297-2007, it's all there in black and white, really clear and legible, right? You can only use rainwater crates for ra uh, for rainwater soak -aways. you cannot use them for septic tank crates. You can only use septic tank crates for a septic tank soak -away. You cannot use septic tank crates for a rainwater soak -away. It's not interchangeable. Raw sewage cannot go into rainwater soak -aways and rainwater cannot go into septic tank soak away. So I think that's pretty clear, isn't it, right? So there's a tiny bit more you also need to know. To be fully compliant with building rigs, if you're using septic tank soak away crates, you have to first of all do a percolation test. Now, this percolation test, I've done other videos on how to do percolation tests. Basically, when you've done your test, you will get something called a VP figure, right? And this VP figure will be between 1 and 99. Basically, building control want to know that whatever soak away you've got in, whether it's septic tank soak away crates or a herringbone soak away, they need to know, right, that you're... Uh, the liquid coming from your septic tank will soak away into the soil. And so you do this mathematical test, this scientific test, and then you give them the data. That shows them, right, that the ground you're putting your soak away into is suitable, right, for a septic tank soak away. That's one thing you've got to do. Number two, the 
number of septic tank soaker grade crates has to be based on the number oh, of bedrooms. Oh, it would help if I could spell. Maybe that's a new way, beb, bedrooms. Maybe that's uh, an alternative way of saying it or spelling it, but here we go, look, bedrooms. There we go. Septic tank soakaway crates have to be based on the number of bedrooms you've got. Um, you can actually go onto the government website and you'll see they've got a, a government calculator there, right? And uh, it's very easy to work out. You just put the number of bedrooms uh, that you've got and it will tell you the number of septic tank soakaway crates you need. And number three, and this is very important, any septic tank, whether it's a herringbone system or septic tank soakaway crates, they have to be 15 meters away from a river, stream, or ditch and 50 meters away from a well or borehole. <clears throat> now, if you use septic tank soakaway crates for your septic tank soakaway, if you have done a percolation test and you can prove to building control, right? that the ground is suitable for any type of soakaway. It doesn't just have to be septic tank soakaway crates. If you can prove to them that it's big enough, it's man enough for the number of bedrooms that you've got. If it's 15 meters away from any river, stream or ditch or 50 meters away from a well or a, bore, a borehole, septic tank soakaway crates are 100% legal. Okay. And if you're still not sure, right, if you're still not 100% sure, then please, 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 I encourage you, right, to read the BS standard, the British standard, this gover government document, right, I encourage you to go on the internet, download it, and read it, because it tells you all this information, and I've, I've, I've simplified, basically, the information that's in there, right, so there you go. So yes, septic tank soakaway crates um, are 100% legal. Uh, lots of builders, just not all builders, so don't get me wrong, I'm not saying all builders do this, but many builders um, do put rainwater crates in to septic tank soakaway crates. What is the difference between, between them? Apart from the fact that you're not allowed to do that, some people do do it because rainwater crates are a lot cheaper than septic tank soakaway crates, right? So they think, oh, I'll put those in, no one will notice. Well, what happens is in um, sewage effluent, there's something called suspended solids. And the, it's all about the membrane. See, with septic tank soakaway crates, it's a um, space age kind of membrane, right? It allows the suspended solids, you know, uh, you know, stuff from the poo and the fat and the grease that, that float around in the sewage effluent. It allows them to pass through the membrane, right? It's designed, the membrane is designed for sewage effluent. Rainwater crates membrane is only designed for rainwater crates. So what happens if you put rainwater crates and rainwater a uh, 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 membrane into a septic tank soak away, it just all becomes blocked up and it starts to balloon and, and the builders have to go back and they have to dig it all up and then they end up having to put it in septic tank soak away crates in after all, but they've just wasted their money because they've bought two lots of soak away crates. Do you know what I mean? They spent 400 quid on that and then they spent another 400 quid on that and it's cost them twice as much when if they just put that in in the first place, they would have saved all the hassle and all the money. So. I hope that has helped you understand the difference between rainwater crates and septic tank soakaway crates. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.